electricity. A Bibio saw machine. We're celebrating St. Andrew's Day on the show today. And next, my guest is one, the one and only Claire Grogan from Altered Images. If you're a fan of a certain sci fi show, she's also Christine Kachansky. Greg Charles from BBC Radio 6 Music. Home I calls. I can't speak to anyone. I've been looking for this young lady through time and space. Christine Kachansky, are you there? I am, and I am loving it that you're calling me young lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I always rem- I remember you as being very, very young, actually. I mean, you started out when you were 17 with Altered Images. That must be weird. Yeah, it's it's incredibly weird. I mean, it's like a well, a whole lifetime ago, and but yeah, it seems strangely familiar as well. You know, it's just I'm stuck at sixteen, seventeen. I think, Craig, I really do think that sometimes. I think that as well. I think um, I think a lot of people who sort of hit the limelight very early on kind of don't really grow up, Claire. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> you know, because I know I haven't. <laughs> Listen, I mean, looking back, I-, I need to tell you that I was in awe of you uh, when we first started working together um, on the first series of Red Dwarf. I was 23. You w- had already been a superstar. You'd, you know, you'd been in Altered Images in that film Gregory's Girl, which was massive. And then all of a sudden you're playing my girlfriend. And I'm like, I, I was fairly tongue tied and speechless around you. Craig, honestly, that is just so funny. I mean, that really does make me laugh because you, I never got any sign of that from you at all. I just always remember you being super fun. And I sometimes going out to Chinatown in Manchester for mm. meals. Absolutely the life and soul of the party. And I just always thought, where does this guy get all his madness from? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I was going to say, I mean, we went back to Red Dwarf and I had a, a feeling that, you know, maybe he didn't want to mess with the legacy and it had to all be right before we resume the role, uh, you know, many years later. Is that the same with Altered Images? How did you feel about putting new music out? Yeah, I've got a new album coming out next year. And actually, Craig, for me, I've been performing the last 20 years. It's something that kind of happened to me almost by accident. I got approached to do um, an arena tour with Kim Wilde and the Human League. And, you know, I just wasn't thinking about that stuff. But when I got asked, it, it was really hard to say no. I really loved the idea of getting to perform the songs again because I'm just hugely attached to them. And of course now I'm going back on tour with the Human League in December. So it's just, everything comes full circle with me. It's it's really extraordinary. If someone had told me at 17 I'd be still doing this at almost 60, I'd have thought that was completely weird. <laughs> you know, I really would have, but it's not. Listen, people don't realise until you start listening to your stuff how many hits you had? I mean, you had a happy birthday. I could be happy, see those eyes. Don't talk to me about love. It's like a greatest hits concert when you do concerts, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's great. And that means the reaction from the word go is like really overwhelming. I can't tell you. It kind of blows my mind, Craig. It really does. It's a beautiful thing. It altered images, although we had a very short life originally, I think four years. I've kind of worked out, Craig, that most bands last between four and seven years. It's quite unusual for any bands to go beyond that. Unless, of course, it's the Rolling Stones we're talking about or U2. But it's quite rare. So we made a lot of good music and lots of different tracks were hits all around the world. It was absolutely amazing until it wasn't. (laughs) (laughs) What made the wheels fall off the first time round? Was it, I mean, I mean, was it like over familiarity, tiredness, touring? Just all of those things, Craig. I mean, I think that when you're really young and you're living in each other's pockets and 
you know, it's just bound to go pear shaped at a certain point. I, I just kind of think that. I think I do got to say to people though now that on reflection, I probably just needed a really big extended holiday. But you know, when you're that age, it's all about all or nothing. You mm. know, so it's just like, no, this is it. I can't do this another single day. I want to talk to you about Glasgow in a minute, but first, mm. pick an altered images track for us to play. Dead pop stars. Dead pop stars. <laughs> That's altered images with their first single, Dead Pop Stars. My guest is Claire Grogan. Claire, uh, born in Glasgow, and even yeah. though you now live in London, as you've said, you've said that Glasgow is in every bit of you. W what do you mean by that? I think there's just, I mean, your identity in life is very much about where I grew up. I'm sure you have a similar feeling. You know, just that cultural identity is is been really important to me and quite often people will still say oh you haven't lost your accent and I think why would I want to lose my accent <laughs> <laughs> I mean I just think that my mum and dad were amazing they really were and also they brought me up to really appreciate Glasgow you know I mean Glasgow has over the years really changed I think it took a got a real pride in itself but Glasgow for me has always been quite a, a kind of culture place you know I've always loved going to the Kelvin Grove art galleries the Citizens Theatre you know dropping in at the art school where I had lots of friends I mean it's a beautiful beautiful city and I just love going back as I've said you know my band most of the musicians that I work with are Glasgow based so it's so it's so lovely for me to go up there and rehearse. Um, you say you haven't lost your accent I was listening to me from Appeal Session in 1983 and mine's definitely gone uh, got softer yeah over the I, years. I'm, I think probably mine has as well, but if I'm with in Glaswegian company, you know, it, it just comes straight back, doesn't it? <laughs> totally. So tell me about the Scottish music scene. Um, can you tell me about things that are happening there now? Bands to look out for, artists to look out for. Well, you know, I mean, they have fountain of talent up there all the time, you know, and that dates back forever, really. Um, you know, it's. It's been a long time since I've been to see a band in Glasgow simply because of, I suppose, the pandemic to a certain extent. But, you know, I do try and keep in touch with with what's going on. But my friends, the Bluebells, just won an award, so they're still going. B Charlotte, Nina Nesbitt, obviously Mogwai, everyone loves. We love Mogwai, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much new talent all the time. There really is. You recently received a special recognition award at the Scottish Music Awards recently. How does that make you feel? Just to feel part of it. I think that's the thing, you know. I mean, I, I always feel like I sort of got into music accidentally. And I suppose I didn't realise just how passionate I was about it until it was slightly, it was kind of taken away from me during lockdown. Mm -hmm. And I know that sounds crazy. It's not that I took it for granted, but it made me feel really, really sad not getting to perform. I think I drove my family absolutely nuts, but I think that's probably also though why I wrote and recorded with my friends the album. You know, I just had to keep engaging with music. And for me, a lot of it was just about performance. So f suddenly having those performances paused on one level was hugely disappointing, but on another, it created the space in my head to write songs again. So like, what can we look forward to on the new album, Claire? Lots of great tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't write your own reviews, but any, anyway, yeah, just a brilliant album. <laughs> I'm a very big fan of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Full of massive hits and bangers. <laughs> the thing is, when you get to a certain point in your life, you have to like yourself a bit. I mean, I think you really do, you know, and I, I think that I would never say things like, I'm quite proud of myself for this or that. I would never have done that, but now I do think I've been doing this a long time. You have, and you've achieved so much. You've got a right to be proud of yourself, Claire Grogan. Thank you. And yeah. <laughs> As my mum's not around anymore to be proud of me. <laughs> You've got to do it yourself. I've got to do it myself now. <laughs> uh, listen, um, it's fantastic catching up with you. Um, and you, Craig, was so, so lovely. Really, really lovely. I feel, you know, we've had this incredible shared experience uh, together when we were younger, and I never lose that sense of how special it was. Um, it, it was, wasn't it? I mean, I didn't realise 
Although I had a, a little inkling that we were doing something that was going to stand the test of start time and be quite special. I mean, do a lot of people still come up to you and talk about Christine Kachansky? They do, actually. I mean, it's a weekly occurrence, and I certainly did not bargain for that at the time. I really didn't. But my goodness, what a joy to have in life. No, no. I think it's incredibly special to have things where people just feel genuinely connected. That's a very privileged position to be in. Listen, fantastic talking to you, Claire. Have a lovely afternoon. And, I will, uh, and you. And good luck with the album the tour. Thank you so much, and let's get uh, together in real life sometime. I hope so, I really do hope so. We'll go to dinner <laughs> when you play in Manchester or something, all right? All righty, thanks a lot. See you now, bye. Bye now, bye. bye, bye. I'm still in love with Claire Grogan. Isn't she lovely? Hey, Craig here. Could you please play our young father's tune? Any tune will do. What a brilliant band. Loving your work, says Ketty from Bristol. Ketty, here you go. Rain or shine. <laughs> 